That was it. Yeah. My psychiatrist once told me that I have a death wish. Not that I want death, but I wish for it, and there's a difference. She says that I need to have control, and that fail suicide as a fail suicide is my way of deciding how this goes. But the thing that I end up having control over no longer resembles what I began with. So I ask myself, what the fuck is the point? And how the fuck is this any better? I need to stop grinding my soul into dust just so I can snort it back up for the rush. I need to start romanticizing the fucking pain, because I'll be stuck here doing this over and over again. Right now, I want to put my energy into the other. I want to put my energy into helping people. And I'm doing that. But at the end of the day, I come back home and I'm alone and nothing's really different. I don't know how to help myself. I think I need to find out what makes me happy. And I keep telling myself that I find happiness in the happiness of others. But I don't actually feel that happiness. I just want it to happen. So, I'm trying to write a lot more, but I keep mixing up my metaphors, and this almost turned into a food pun. I'm trying to get into philosophy too, but Hegel is still incomprehensible, so I just sleep, sprinkle some cliches in for fun. And I stopped going to psychiatry, because I feel like it places my life solely within the grips of my trauma, and I already know what it is. I don't need to deconstruct my trauma to move on from my suffering. And I don't even need to not suffer. I just need that to be something else. And people keep telling me that I sound hopeless, but I have hope. I just hope for less and less each day. And I'm not pessimistic either. My bottle is half full, but I've got to keep drinking from it. And I've been drinking for a while now. Sometimes people say that suicide is a cry for help, and I'm not sure if that's true. But if it is, I would think that poetry is too.